Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, naturally, I wanted to do a video based on everything that I just have to have when my favorite time of the year comes around. It's really just a bunch of random stuff and to be honest, I'm hoping that this doesn't turn into like just a generic favorites video. Um, it might because I live and breathe for summer. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So with it being summer, of course, most of the time, you know, you are in the sun, um, out on the water, whatever, soaking up some rays. So of course, I'm a big believer in SPF, especially on your face. Um, the only one that I have found having pretty sensitive skin that doesn't break me out or like burn, I've had some just straight up burn my skin and it actually works, is this Copper Tone Defend and Care Face SPF 50 sunscreen. Um, it's oil free, it says it won't clog pores and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. It'll wear really well, really well under makeup as well. But anyways, it doesn't smell. No, it does, that's a lie. It does smell like sunscreen. Um, I love the smell of sunscreen, um, to be honest. But uh, anyway, this is just a good face sunscreen. I use it, Tyler uses it, it's great. It does its job and it doesn't break me out. CeraVe, Cer CeraVe, CeraVe? Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen. Um, it's SPF 30, it's a sheer tint. Um, it says it blends seamlessly into skin with a lightweight, non-greasy feel, suitable for sensitive skin. Because of COVID, uh, I've definitely spent more time outside at work because my work went to curbside. Like you should wear SPF every day anyways, but to me it was more like, oh, I really need to make sure I'm wearing SPF on my face because I'm, I feel the sun on my face, you know. I was trying to take better care of my skin and I wear a mask all day. I kind of was not wearing makeup. And so I thought the sheer tint in this might make my skin look better while protecting my skin, and it does. So this is what I wear every single day after I do my morning skincare. I apply this. It does have a very sheer tint, but it gives you the most beautiful glow. I don't necessarily agree with the non-greasy feel. I do, it does feel, you know, I don't want to say greasy because it's not a bad thing, but I do have dry skin, so you have oily skin, you may not like it. I wear this when I'm out on the lake all day and I don't get sunburned on my face or anything. If there's anything that you grab from this video, this it, sh it should be this, okay? Amazing. So as far as body SPF goes, I feel like sunblock is sunblock. I do have a method that I feel like is pretty foolproof for me anyways. I don't burn super easily, but if I do burn, it's at the beach. That's, you know, if I get a little sunburned and I'll be sunburned for a couple days and then, it, you know, I tan. But um, something that me and Tyler kind of discovered last year at our beach vacation that just was foolproof, the spray sunscreen, that's not it. It's not it. So I like to have a spray sunscreen to spray on my scalp if I'm going to be out in the sun all day. Um, or... What we'll do is we'll apply, you know, SPF, at least SPF 50, we'll apply the lotion, um, you know, in our hotel room. And then while we're out on the beach that day, we will reapply and kind of touch up with spray sunscreen. Cause you know, you don't want to be using like a lotion when you've got sand everywhere. That, the constant reapplying of the spray, like we reapply every hour, every two hours, something like that. Um, keeps us from getting burned at the beach. And it is such a foolproof method. It's it's just awesome. So that is my technique with sunblock. As far, I don't have like a specific brand to recommend just because I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to sunblock. I just go buy the biggest bottle of SPF 50 I can find and roll with it. As big as I am on SPF and protecting your skin and using sunless tanner, I do still love to lay out in the sun. Um, I know it's not the best thing for you. I know the sun's very dangerous. Um, I'm not as carefree about it as I used to be. I do wear, you know, SPF on my face and neck every day. Um, but I feel guilty, like, recommending this. But girls are laying out anyways. Girls are still using tanning beds, okay? So I just have to let you know. Um, what I like to use if I'm laying out at the house. I'm laying out at the house. I'm not laying out for as long periods of time as I would be at the lake or at the beach. So I lay out for max two hours, like... I just do, that's the longest time I can stay still at home. 
So if I lay out here at the house, I use a um, tanning lotion or like a browning lotion or whatever. And this has been my favorite. It's the Sunbomb Browning Lotion. Um, so I bought this last summer. I think it was last summer when everyone was buying the Maui Babe Browning Lotion and I could not find it anywhere because it was sold out everywhere because of TikTok. So this was just the only browning lotion that I could find. And now I have gotten my hands on the Maui Babe Browning Lotion. I've used it. I probably will not repurchase it. First of all, um, it smells like teriyaki chicken. And I probably wouldn't have noticed that that's what the smell is because there's definitely a smell. I probably wouldn't have noticed that if my friend hadn't said, hey, it smells like teriyaki chicken. But it does. It smells like teriyaki sauce. Okay. It's brown like this is. This is brown. Um, so when you apply it, it does, I guess it's supposed to make you look tan. I don't know. But it really just makes you look really dirty and like streaky um, when you sweat as you do when you're laying in the sun it like there's runs that it makes down your body um, it'll get all over your bikini and everything and it just is not the business it's just not it this works really well um, and I feel like it's not as bad as the Maui babe like the Maui babe obviously has a lot of oil in it and that's what makes you brown um, this does but this feels more like a lotion than an oil. Like the Maui Babe is a lot more greasy. This doesn't feel like you're rubbing oil on your skin. It does just feel more like a lotion. And this one smells like cocoa to me. Um, so this one actually smells really good. So yeah. That whole rant to just say that I do really like the Sun Bum Browning Lotion, obviously. I've gone through a good bit. Of course, after laying out all day um, or spending time on the water or whatever, your skin can feel kind of dry. But I like to use after I've come in and I've showered, you know, my tanning lotion off and all that stuff. Um, I found this. I feel like I found it on TikTok again. And I was like, that seems like a good idea. I'm going to grab it. Um, it's the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun Lotion. Um, I love this. If you're sunburned, even just a little bit, I don't recommend using it because it is scented. Um, it does have a strong fragrance. It's coconut papaya fragrance. It smells really good, but it is heavily scented. Um, so if you're like straight up sunburned, I wouldn't recommend an after sun lotion. I would recommend like aloe vera um, or something like that, something very thick and hydrating. I feel like it just replenishes my skin after it's been out in the sun. Um, it keeps it hydrated. I feel like it prolongs my tan, makes my tan look really good. And it's just very soothing after you've just, especially at the beach, after you've been in the salt water and in the sun, I just, I just feel like this is a great thing to add if you're someone who loves to be in the sun like I do. As much as I love to tan naturally and be in the sun, um, I also like to be really dark. Um, and so the amount of time it would take me to lay out in the sun would be far more damaging to my skin. Do you see where I'm going with this? Um, and the fact that I work all the time and I have like one day a week to lay out. Um, I just uploaded my self tanner review video um, and this was pretty much the winner. This is just, this and my Bondi Sands, but this has just been the consistent self tanner that I've been using. It's the Tanologist um, Extra Dark One Hour Express Tan. Um, this has just been my consistent self tanner that I've been grabbing. Um, because it's an express tan and I do really like the color and the way that it applies. Obviously you can't have summer without a self tanner so that has been my go-to as well as the Bondi Sands Pure Self Tanning Face Mist. Um, I use this every couple days. I love it. I went into more detail about these self tanners in my last video but again I just had to include this in my summer must-haves. Now, while you're laying out in the sun and you're having all this fun, what are you wearing? You're wearing a swimsuit. So, I have three different places that I like to get my swimsuits. I've had people ask me about Sheen. Um, because, you know, Sheen, it can, when you first find the website, you're like, there's no way. And they're not all winners. I've had to return a lot. That being said, um, I have actually found some swimsuits that I love. I have not been able to find any one pieces surprisingly. I feel like one pieces are hard to find for me um, because if they fit me like up here they're like too small or too cheeky in the bottom. 
so I don't know but I have found some bikinis that I like uh, like this one is like a bluish greenish tie-dye and I got a size large I am becoming more comfortable with my bottom showing more in bikinis I used to definitely want a more coverage in um, my butt um, with my bikinis I don't know maybe it's just I don't know what it is because I'm definitely not more confident in my body as a whole so I don't really know what it is but I have just been like whatever it's an ass and I just go live my life I do really love their bathing suits um, they're really affordable and to be honest I just I can never find any at like Target or Walmart or wherever you shop for bathing suits that I like I just I don't know I don't feel like I'm picky but I just don't want the same basic bikini that everyone else has so Sheen has tons of styles super affordable and they're super cute it's forever 21 so I got this cute one piece a couple years ago um, it's just like a brown like crochet material and it laces up the sides um, I really like the neckline I feel like it's very flattering forever 21 has a lot of cute swimsuits especially one pieces and I do believe Sheen and Forever 21 have plus sizes available as well if you fit in that category. I found this set randomly on Amazon. I will try to link um, specific things down below if I can. I won't be able to find that one piece, I don't think, from Forever 21. Um, but I'm going to try to link everything that I can find down below. So these swimsuits, again, when you're buying swimsuits online, you're kind of sketched. But... Um, I found these on Amazon and they're just fantastic they have really good coverage in the bottoms so this part's like thick so you can kind of pull it up and on your hips a little bit more um, and kind of cover if you've got like a little pouch like I do in my belly um, it kind of covers that um, so I have this I actually have three of the exact same bikini just in different patterns so this is the bottoms it's just like a little tropical bottom and then it's got like a pretty green like strapless top and they have like these wires in the side so it feels more solid when you're wearing it it doesn't feel like as flimsy and like it's gonna fall off of you so I found these and I immediately bought more patterns just because especially for strapless bikinis it's the most coverage and like just like secure like bikinis that I've found and again just affordable options and they have tons of colors on those as far as makeup goes I could only find two products in my makeup collection that I would say are summer must-haves um, I'm not big into heat proof makeup I should be considering that I live in the south where it's 100 degrees all the time I don't wear that much makeup in the summer and I don't know I just I don't have oily skin so I don't feel like I'm the girl to go to for sweat proof makeup but I am the girl with no eyebrows and I'm not again it's one of the things it's weird how age I feel like I guess it's age where I just don't care about things that I used to care about like my butt showing or people knowing that I don't have eyebrows but I used to be that girl that would get like anxiety about pool parties or going to the beach with people because I knew my eyebrows would wash away but I finally found a product that I love that actually works for my brows that say it's pretty much it stays put it stays put it's the Anastasia um, what is this called mine has literally worn off the bottle it's like the brow pomade gel so it's not the pomade in the pot but it's the one that comes like a gel with a little spoolie so first of all, this is the only tinted brow product like this that actually fills in my brows because any other tinted brow gel, I don't have a lot of brow hair. So there's not a lot for the product to hold on to. Um, they just never worked for me. This actually works. I love the way that it sets my brows. Even if I fill my brows in with a pencil, I still use this to just set my brows uh, because they're not going to go anywhere. And so this is a really great option. Um, for wearing like at the beach or a pool party or whatever because your brows your brows stay put so I have been obsessed with cream blush I used to never wear blush and if I did of course it was powder blush um, but I, I went years without wearing blush I was trying to get back into it bought some 
Um, nothing, nothing comes close to cream blush. I'm like, where has this been my whole life? So, um, I only use the ColourPop blush sticks. Um, uh, and this is in the shade Aloha. It is beautiful. It's just a little stick. I literally just apply this straight to my face. Um, I just apply it to the apples of my cheeks, a little towards my temple, and over my nose. And it just looks like you've just been chilling in the sun all day. I'm obsessed with it. The color Aloha is just so perfect. I can wear this when I'm tan and when I'm not tan. Describe the color as like a terracotta color, which I feel like is pretty close. It's a very warm blush, but it's not like orange. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a peachy, just perfect blush color to me. Um, and I just blend it out with my sponge. I could do a go-to summer makeup look if you wanna see that. I feel like I do that every year. Um, but I'm pretty obsessed with the products that I've been using in the, you know, the way I've been doing my makeup lately if I wear makeup. So if you want to see that, just let me know down below. But yes, cream blush. Yes. OGX Extra Strength Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. It's penetrating oil. Discover Silky Soft Island Girl Hair. Hello. It smells delicious. I use way more than I probably should, but like it works for my hair. Um, and I do, I just drench my hair in this after I wash it and let it air dry. And um, I have no issues with my hair. I can't wait to see how this performs at the beach because I, I do my hair a little bit differently at the beach. So another thing that I, I did for the first time last year that I was like, why haven't I always been doing this? Is wearing a hat at the beach because I'm out there like sun up to pretty much sundown I'm out there when I'm at the beach nothing worse than when your scalp gets burned because I mean it hurts you look like a tomato head and then it peels and that's the worst part it peels it's worse than dandruff um, and you just have nasty flakes like coming out of your hair for like weeks. At least that's how it is when my scalp burns. So I had the bright idea last year to get a hat and I will never go to the beach without a hat ever again. So I just bought, I was just trying to find like a basic hat on Amazon. Naturally, I got a tie dye one. It's like a pastel tie dye one. Um, again, I'll try to link it down below, but I did get it off Amazon. It's from the Hat Depot. Um, and I'll wear it like, this for the most part to keep the sun off my face um, and also off my head but I'll turn it around um, the only time I took it off was when I went in the water and my scalp didn't get burned um, it's just kind of easy to like throw on and throw off I can throw it in the wash when I get home um, and kind of get the beach out of it and it's just the best thing I haven't done this yet but I did buy them and I have every intention to do so um, I keep seeing like pictures on Pinterest or whatever of specifically girls in bikinis wearing like head scarves um, and they just wear them like over their head. I have no idea how to do this. Um, I've never done it, but I bought a couple things off Amazon. So basically it's, they like put it over their head like this and they'll like tie it and then they have like beautiful earrings and they're in this beautiful bikini and it just looks amazing. I have every intention of doing that. I don't know why I feel like that looks so good, but I'm very into it right now. So I bought this one, which just looks bougie as hell to me. And I have an orange bikini, so I thought it would go. It looks like some Versace print to me and I'm trying to live my bougiest life, obviously. So I'm really excited to try that, but I feel like it's just so fashionable. Uh, I will definitely wear it for like a picture on the gram and then it's coming off because I'm a beach bum. As bougie as I'm trying to be, I'm a beach bum. So I am super excited to try that and then I just bought a like $4 cheesecloth because I wanted like a whitish one to do that with. So I bought like this white-ish one and I'm going to try to like tie it back and it's like you're keeping the sun off your head but you're also looking kind of cute and trendy at the same time We've been very into kayaking lately and we found like a local lake not far from our house so we are spending more and more time on the water so a must-have I don't have it with me because it's in his truck because all the lake stuff kind of stays in his truck and he is gone right now 
but a waterproof speaker is a must. I will try to link the one that we have and insert an image here. Um, but we got a waterproof speaker. First of all, the battery lasts forever and it's waterproof. I think it floats. I'm pretty sure that's what it said on the packaging. I have not tried that because I'm not going to throw my speaker in the water to see if it floats. But I think that it does. And yeah, it's just, it's a must. It has good sound. It gets loud. And you're good for a day on the water. So this is random as hell. But uh, I just love it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you got your cooler. You got your water bottle. But it's not you. It needs something. Do you know what it needs? It needs stickers. So we've been very into stickers lately. I have decorated my water bottle. Um, I think we got these water bottles at like Walmart or something. But for when we go kayaking, when we go hiking, whatever. And I just, we got like a variety pack of stickers off Amazon. All of these stickers came off Amazon. He got like hundreds. Um, he decorated his laptop in them, and I decorated my water bottle. So you can decorate your water bottle, you can decorate your cooler. I just have to show these. Vans has the coolest stickers. I'm obsessed with them. Like, I love Vans anyway, but their stickers are to die for. And then, of course, our tattoo artist likes to give us her stickers. So I have to give her a shout out. This is her artwork. I will link her Instagram down below. If you're in the area, you can try to get a tattoo. I know she's pretty booked because um, she's amazing. But I will link her down below. I had to give her a little shout out since she does give us stickers after every visit. We got the most compliments on our beach setup that we've ever gotten. We just feel like every year we are getting our setup and our routine and stuff kind of more down. So we got this um, like beach blanket, I guess is what you would call it, off Amazon. It comes in a, a cute little bag, a little strap. You can hook it to your beach buggy. You can hook it to your oh shit bar in your car when you're traveling to the beach. Um, we just throw it in our beach bag. Like we just have one big beach bag and we can just toss it in there. It comes with stakes so you can stake it down all four corners uh, into the sand. And I don't know that I would say it's sandproof. I mean, it, it, we didn't, we weren't like covered in sand the whole time. It was just, a, it's this huge, it's huge, first of all, but it stayed put. Um, it was easy to kind of just put it out and put it up when it was time to go. Um, and I feel like it just made our beach experience a little bit more enjoyable since we are out there for so long. We were able to have like this super marked area that was our area that we could come back to coming out of the water. Um, and just kind of stay set up for the whole day at the beach. So highly recommend getting some kind of beach blanket. This one was amazing and it was pretty affordable. So another thing that we got that we got a lot of compliments on as well was our little beach tent setup. So we originally were looking for some kind of actual like beach tent, uh, but they were pretty expensive, I think. I think that's why we didn't do it. Plus we were just wanting something that was pretty low maintenance as far as setting it up because once I'm out on the beach, I want my shit down and I want to relax, you know? Um, so it's like an umbrella that is also a tent. So you like stake it down like an umbrella and then um, you just stake like the corners down of the tent that come down. I'm going to insert a picture here of um, what we have but we just got so many compliments and it's a nice little area to put your cooler and um if you need to take like a minute out of the sun like tyler got sunburned like our first day there last year and he was pissed and um so he was trying to limit his sun exposure for the rest of the week so he wouldn't get further burned and everything so he could like chill under there um I do think when you are planning to be on the beach for you know 12 hours you have some escape from the sun because it is that is a lot so I highly recommend getting some kind of um, umbrella tent thing but if you get an umbrella you need to get like an anchor or something for the sand because I've never seen a regular old umbrella that doesn't just fly away so 
definitely recommend getting something like that to anchor it down. At the beginning of quarantine last year, we were trying to find things to do that would get us out of the house, but not make us around other people, you know, so we could still kind of stay in quarantine. And one of the things we were like, well, nature is nature. So we decided to try to start hiking and stuff more, um, which everyone else had that idea too. So it was not the smartest idea on our part. But while we were hiking, we noticed people had little um, like hammocks that they could just set up with, you know, in the trees and stuff. So Tyler went on Amazon and found this. Again, it's in its own cute little bag. Um, Wise Owl Outfitters, it's a little hammock. Um, and we've used it in our backyard a picture of like the setup so it's just a nice little hammock both of us fit in it um, and you know it we didn't break it obviously so um, I definitely recommend getting something like this even if it's just for your backyard even if you don't hike or anything because um, other hammocks I think are pretty expensive but this is just like a little way you can pop it out when you want to and you can put it up you know when summer's over or whatever I mean, you could really use this even in the fall. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice little relaxing way to like chill out in your backyard. So I said, you know, when we we're on the water at the beach, whatever, that we are drinkers. Okay. Responsibly, we are drinkers. That's just how we relax. That's how we relax in the sun. We just have a few drinks. And um, beer can be pretty heavy. We're both beer drinkers. Um, but beer can be pretty heavy, especially when you're kind of trying to watch your figure, which we have been. We've been going through the seltzers, like everyone. We've tried them all except for, I think, the natural light seltzers. Uh, I think those are the only ones we haven't tried. But again, we don't drink Natty Light. So but we've tried all of them and they were all trash except for the Corona seltzers we like. And Trulies. We've tried Trulies recently and those are the best seltzers I've ever had. So we've had the regular ones and we've had the lemonade ones. We weren't as big a fans of the lemonade just because I think they're, they're just sweeter than the other seltzers, but that's what we drink. Um, it's not as heavy. It's as much alcohol, if not more alcohol. So do be careful. You gotta make sure you're staying hydrated um, because they will sneak up on you. Another pro tip when going to the beach and you're going to be drinking all day is to take something with you that's kind of stronger than water. Start your day, end your day, whatever. So we both really like the body armors, obviously. I think everyone likes the body armors. And I recently discovered the body armor light. Again, I mentioned that we are watching our figures. The peach mango, which is this one, is one of my favorite flavors. And the coconut is my other favorite flavor. So we do alternate these with water as well as the liquid IVs, which I feel like everyone knows. We do take a pack of liquid IVs with us. We're just doing the most out there, so it's good to stay hydrated. If you're kayaking, unless you're like doing some sort of extreme kayaking that I don't know about and that we don't do, you're not gonna take like your big, like hard plastic cooler on the kayak with you. So what we've been using actually, that's wonderful is this nifty backpack cooler that we got off Amazon. This is actually Tyler's lunchbox. This is what he uses every day for his lunch at work because it's a backpack and he can just throw it on. This will hold like two cases of Trulies. So it holds two cases, we'll throw ice in it. Um, we can use this top part that's separate from the part that's like insulated. We'll use this part to put snacks, or whatever our phones i'll throw my phone in here when we're on the kayak just to keep it from getting wet it's wonderful you can throw this in the washing machine and wash it um, after a day on the water or whatever and it's wonderful i will try to find that and link it below for you guys but he did get it off amazon but speaking of the kayak that i'm always talking about it is the most genius thing and it is the best money i've ever spent in my life so I actually bought it at the end of last summer because I couldn't find it all summer because of quarantine. So I found out about it because a friend of mine had it, but then I think it blew up on TikTok or something because you couldn't buy it anywhere. Um, it's an inflatable kayak, which I feel like people hear that and they're like, you're in the middle of a body of water in an inflatable boat essentially. And we're like, yeah, yeah we are. If you decide to buy any inflatable 
boat or kayak they're literally everywhere on Amazon I highly recommend getting an electric pump the pumps that come with them work great they do but we disassemble it every time after we use it so it doesn't fly away on the back of the truck and so it just kind of stays in better condition hopefully so we just take a like rechargeable pump with us and you just turn it on and it blows it up so I will insert the one that we have here and try to link it down below. I think it's like $300 now, but I bought it at the end of the summer last year and I got it for like $80, which is what it originally was. There is other brands on Amazon um, that I think are cheaper. And one of our friends actually just got an inflatable four person boat, which was kind of amazing too. And I think he paid like 80 bucks for it. So. Um, it comes with the paddles. They work great. It comes with inflatable seats, a bag to put it all in. It is the best money I've ever spent. Like, especially if you have a local lake or, you know, something somewhere you can go um, pay like a short parking fee or whatever and go do it. It is such a cheap way to enjoy the summer. We literally just buy our Trulies pay our parking and we go almost every week that it's sunny. So highly recommend that. If you love summer like we do, I highly recommend that. I do believe this is the last thing on my list, but I have to mention it. Of course in the summer you need good shorts. Like you need good denim shorts. And shorts are everywhere. You can walk anywhere and buy them, but I, I am challenged when it comes to that because I am a curvier girl. Um, if I buy jeans that fit me in the waist or shorts that fit me in the waist, I, they don't get over my hips. I need some stretch in there. You know, I need something that's comfortable. I love high-waisted jeans and shorts, but I don't want my butt hanging out and I don't want it like suffocating me. You know, there's just a lot of things that I look for in shorts. I don't know how I found these on Amazon of all places. I don't know how I found them. I'm so glad that I did. I have bought them in every color. So they're $25. Um, they're literally, there's no brand. They're just like unmarked shorts. Um, this is what they look like. They're just plain. They have some that are distressed if distressed is more your style. Um, I do have some of the distressed. This is just the pair that I grabbed. I have them in black. I have them in white. I have them in different washes of denim. Um, but they just have like little rolled up detail on the bottom. They are high waisted. They have some that have multiple buttons. But mine that I have here just have a button and a zipper. They're so stretchy. So comfortable. These are the most comfortable denim shorts. I've ever had in my life and they're like 25 bucks a piece so I will link it down below for you guys and I hope if you're you know if you struggle like I do then I hope that these work for you I am about a size like 12 13 and I buy the extra large and they fit perfectly they're like loose enough to wear they don't like make me bloat and give me gas you know what I mean if you wear like high-waisted things that are too tight um, they cover my butt. They don't have that gap in the back at the waist. They don't have any of that. They just, they fit perfectly and I love them and I'm just so happy that I found them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too random or weird. Um, I, I love summer if you couldn't tell and I just wanted to share some of my favorite must have things. I feel like I'm pretty much a pro at summer. So I just wanted to share all of these things with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find something that you like. If you try out any of these products, let me know down below. Let me know how you like them. And let me know if you want that summer go-to makeup tutorial. I will also be getting up my self-tan routine, hopefully. I know some of you wanted to see that. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ow. No, that's wrong. Ow! Ow! No. Go somewhere. Um. this everywhere. My boyfriend got Thai food without me and I'm very upset about it. What? 
Um, I have decorated, oh God.